2010 started with the world battling a pandemic. The H1N1 virus is still circulating and it is still causing disease, hospitalizations and deaths. But a new vaccine became widely available in January and by spring H1N1 cases started to fade. That's when another health crisis started making headlines. I was sicker than I've ever been. More than 1800 people got sick after eating eggs contaminated with salmonella. Just sick, 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 sick. The outbreak led to a massive recall of more than half a billion eggs. Concussions on the playing field made news all year. Studies show the number of kids with sports-related concussions had doubled since 1997. It's quarterback at Penn State. The NFL changed its rules after several players suffered concussions, including Cleveland's Josh Cribbs. The league now requires players with head injuries to undergo more rigorous medical testing before they're allowed back on the field. And a new study found professional athletes who suffer multiple concussions are at risk of developing symptoms that mirror ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. The research calls into question whether Lou Gehrig actually had the disease named after him. Guidelines changed for CPR in 2010. The American Heart Association announced the life-saving technique is more effective without mouth-to-mouth -mouth in most cases. Turns out the average person is getting enough vitamin D, even though doctors warned for years that most Americans were deficient. And a tiny bug caused nightmares across the country. One bed bug can grow to 30,000 in six months time if it's not controlled. Bed bugs invaded, biting people not only in the bedroom. The tiny insects shut down major retailers and offices, and bed bug summits were held across the nation, offering new ways to kill the blood suckers. Experts predict the little critters will stick around in 2011. Sandra Hughes, CBS News, Los Angeles.